we stand and lift up our hands for the joy of the Lord is our strength we bow down and worship him now how great how awesome is he and together we sing holy is the lord god almighty and the earth is filled with his glory and holy is the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, in this time of Easter, we rejoice in God's love for Jesus is risen. And in this time, we acknowledge our own failings and sins, and we ask that God be merciful. I confess to Almighty God. And to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people so that Christ, our high priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation and by his equality with you free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name. Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, we must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The, the Lord, Lord hears, hears the, the cry, cry of the, of the poor. poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall ever be in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. 
Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The, the Lord, Lord hears, hears the, the cry, cry of the, of the poor. poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The, the Lord, Lord hears, hears the cry, the cry of, the of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The, the Lord, Lord hears, hears the, the cry, cry of, of the poor. poor. Alleluia, 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 and Alleluia, Alleluia. Because you have seen me, says the Lord, blessed are those who have not seen but still believe. And alleluia. with you a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John the one who comes from above is above all the one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things but the one who comes from heaven is above all he testifies to what he has seen and heard but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We continue to read from this fifth chapter of the Acts of the Apostles. And again, as we heard yesterday, as they tried to and actually put the apostles, some of the followers of Jesus, into prison. And the angels of God came and brought them out of that confinement, and the authorities found them again preaching the name of Jesus. So we continue to hear of what took, took place at that time at the very beginning of the church, that when the court officers had brought, brought the apostles before them, they made them stand before the Sanhedrin. And then we hear here in the Acts of the Apostles of how the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name. They kept teaching in the name of Jesus. And they would continue to teach in the name of Jesus, just as we continue more than 2,000 years later, continue to teach in the name of Jesus. There is no imprisoning the word of God. There is no silencing the word of God. Jesus' teachings will continue. God's word will be spoken. And God gives us the strength through Jesus to continue to live our faith. In spite of whatever we face, we know that it is the Lord Jesus who says, as he, we hear in the Gospel of St. John today, he does not ration his spirit. 
God, through Christ, freely gives His Spirit to us. There is no rationing. It is freely given, and it is in abundance for us. We have no fear that it's going to run out. Earthly things run out, not the Spirit of Jesus. The Spirit of Jesus flows in the church that He has given to us. And for we who believe, who have that trust in God, then we can take note of the fact that through the preaching of Jesus, through His teaching, through what we seek to do every day in proclaiming our faith in the Lord, we can be assured that the Spirit of Jesus is upon us. Regardless of what we go through, as we go through this pandemic, regardless of how our emotions are like a roller coaster, and sometimes we say, this is okay, and other times we begin to question, Jesus understands that. It's been going on for weeks now, and we all get frustrated, but we take hold of the words of Jesus. We take hold of the truth that the Spirit is still in abundance with us, and Jesus will continue to guide us through this darkness and through anything and everything we encounter because we seek to live, to breathe, to teach, and to proclaim everything in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. In the faith that we share in the name of Christ, we offer to the Lord our needs and prayers. For the church and her leaders, may God's grace fill them with strength and enthusiasm in spreading the Easter message of hope, we pray to the Lord. For those in positions of authority throughout the world, may the Lord guide them in the ways of peace, justice, and conflict resolution, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened with physical, emotional, or mental pain, may God's loving grace heal them and sustain them, we pray to the Lord. For end to this pandemic, for the guidance that we seek from God to help us through these days, these months, in this time of uncertainty, that we will continue to trust, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered for the Eucharist, in our homes, wherever we may be, that the Holy Spirit will help us to focus our hearts on embracing His Word and nurturing our lives of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Nora Martin and for Frank Nevelud, for whom we remember and for whom I offer this Mass, that they may rest in God's peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intentions listed in our parish intention book and for the needs we hold in the silence of our own hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear and answer our petitions, which we offer to you in faith and trust. And we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifices at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with these sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, Father, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. And Hosanna in the highest, and blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church. Spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Brendan, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name, thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it, as it is, is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those, those who trespass, trespass against us, and, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver, but deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
I was lost, I was in chains, world had a hold of me. My heart was a stone, I was covered in shame, when he came for me. I couldn't run, couldn't run from his presence, I couldn't Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. I believe in the Son, and I believe in the risen one. And I believe I overcome by the power of His blood. Amen and amen. I'm alive, I'm alive because He lives. Amen. Let my song join the one that never ends Because he lives, I can face tomorrow Because he lives, every fear is gone And I know he owns my life, my future in his hand Amen, amen. I'm alive, I'm alive because He lives. And I'm